everyone, it's Jessica from Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things. I am doing a review on my favorite fragrance here, Bond Number no. 9. I just refilled, before I went into the hospital, everything happened before then. Uh, so I just refilled my favorite fragrance of all time by them. Um, it actually only came out last year, but ever since it came out, I've kind of dumped anything else that I ever used to wear, including my original favorite from Bond for this fragrance. Um, so I started out with the Itty Bitty Baby Bottle, uh, 1.7 ounce. I love New York for all. First and foremost, let me just say I'm not a female fragrance wearer. I hate florals. I hate powdery, powdery scents. I don't like super girly smells. I like unisex or more masculine scents. They stay better with my my body chemistry. It's just preferential. But for me, the thing I love the most about Bond is that the majority of their fragrance are specifically unisex. There are some that really do tend to go more masculine or more feminine, but for the most part, they're unisex, and even the ones that tend to veer one way or the other, they still can be used by men or women. So, I swapped out my tiny size for my large size. The other thing I love is the packaging. I just love it. I think each bottle has its own unique look, and each box that it comes in does as well. So the inside of the I Love New York for All, or I Love New York collection, is pretty plain and simple. Um, I should probably check the price. I believe the large size, which is what I have here, this is the 3.4 versus the 1.7. I think the 3.4 is um, 175. Yes, I'm just looking on that. So um, while I do that, can we just talk about this around my neck? Some of you are probably like, what the F is this girl wearing? And the rest of you are like, all right, maybe you can make it work. Not with that sweatshirt or sweater. Um, <laughs> I got this at ASOS. I'm liking it as an infinity scarf. But really, it's just like a little collar, some palms. I think I got it for like $11. I don't know. I just felt compelled to purchase it. It just looked so great. All right, back to the real deal here, why we're gathering around. Okay, so I love New York for All. 175 is 3.4, and 105 is the 1.7. Um, the original favorite that I so fondly fell in love with is Bleecker Street. I love this bottle too. I just think each of, each and every bottle is amazing. This is Bleecker Street. This is unisex, but I think a little more masculine. Um, the pricing, as I've said, is more expensive for the non I Love New York collection. I'm not actually sure why that is. Um, they're all Edu Parfum, so just, sorry guys, I am looking it up here. Okay, all of the scents by Bond are Edu Parfum. And the 3.5, which I have here, or 3.4, which I have here, is 245, and the smaller version of this scent is 1. 80. This also comes in a pocket-sized version for 95. It's just a small tube. Um, so yeah, let's just talk about the one that I really want to talk about, which is my all-time favorite scent. Like literally, I just like oh, I could bathe in this scent. Um, as you all know, with me and smell, like I sniff things like crazy on my reviews and look like some kind of freak of nature. We just can't stop smelling things. Uh, Bond fragrances, they do that to me. Uh, the other one 
that I had. Oh, geez, Louise. I can't. I can't even think of it. Anyway, I've had a couple over the years. Um, these are the only two that I have liquids left in, but this one's fresh from scratch. So, this one is described as a velvety smooth java infusion, full body geranium meets sandalwood. Now, I'm not sure I get geranium so much. Um, geranium might be like the only flower that I think is kind of decent, and I don't really get it much from this. I smell a lot of tonka, tonka, tonka beans, sandalwood, vanilla, light notes of coffee. What they say the actual notes are is bergamot, and I heavily look for bergamot in fragrance. It's an all-time favorite note. Uh, Mujit, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. There goes my job as a fragrant here. Pepper, cocoa, coffee beans, creamy chestnut, patchouli, another winner, vanilla, leatherwood, and sandalwood. So really, this scent just like encompasses everything that is Jessica. I can't say enough about this one. I have tried the men's and the women's. Um, the women's, I love New York for women, is very very floral too floral for my liking it's like floral but maybe fruity like it's it's very feminine like you can't get more feminine than that scent in my opinion there's not powder in it that's probably the only thing that's missing from that um and the men is just so crisp and clean i almost purchased the men for myself as well because i really really like the men i love new york for men but out of the three, this one was by far my favorite scent. Moving on to Bleecker Street. Now, I wore this scent for years as my primary fragrance, for years and years. Um, and they describe it as art, fashion, seduction, and dessert in liquid form. Now, can I just tell you Bleecker Street is my all-time favorite street in New York? got the good shops, they decorate all the windows for the holidays. I don't know. I loved it. I loved it very much. A warm, sensual aphrodisiac that glides from day to evening. Now, this is very simple. It has violet leaf, cassis, jasmine, cinnamon, and oak moss. Really, really simple, really basic, like five ingredients to this. It's just a delightful scent. I think it could go either way, masculine or feminine. It does tend to fall a little more masculine than feminine in my opinion, but that's probably why I like it so much. Um, the thing about Bond fragrances, some of you are like, you pay what for fragrance? I will pay for longevity. I will pay for a beautiful fragrance. I don't care how much it is. Um, Lars and Perfumer they are another brand that I will pay for their scents. Um, right now, this has been my jam for over a year. You know, since it came out, I can't stop wearing it. I I love this. Like, I just like my spray on everything. Like, I love this so very, very much. The lasting power on this stuff. All of these, not just this one. All of the Bond fragrances I've owned in the past, samples that I've had to try, which I've tried every single scent because I've had every sample, um, except for the new Manhattan one. I'm actually, I forgot to call them to get a sample sent to me. They last forever. I mean, I could spray a shirt or sweater, and like a week later, I still smell it if I haven't washed the sweater. It's phenomenal. It's... It's beyond worth the money that you're paying for it. You only need a spray or two. That's the other beautiful thing, is that it's very, very concentrated. The Eau de Parfum is very concentrated, so the scent will stay. It will linger. It will last. If you don't take shower, you don't wash your hair, and you've sprayed it in your hair, you're going to smell it the next day. Like, that's how long it lasts. You don't need much, and that's probably why the bottles last as long as they do. Granted, this 1.7 didn't even last me a full year. Last me seven, eight months, maybe. 
but everyday wear, I guess that's what you get. Okay. I could talk forever about these, I'm not going to, but that's where I'm going to leave it today. Um, you can follow my blog, Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things. Tweet me at glitterythings underscore. Instagram me at glittery things and tumble with me, cupcakes, rings, and glittery things. I will put a link to Bond below. And if you guys are interested in this, which most of you won't be, that's okay. I'll like it. I like it. I'll put a link to the ASOS uh, site for this as well. I think they had another color that wasn't so like in your face, but go big or go home. Bye guys. Love you. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention that I picked winner from the iPhone Game Boy 4 4S uh, case giveaway. Sorry, I just keep hitting the computer. I just got out of the hospital, so I'm not feeling so great. Um, it's going to be a long recovery, but... I picked a winner. I did the, I don't know, the thing that random picker thing. Um, and the winner was Dundor Dead. And uh, congratulations to you. Thank you to everybody else that entered the contest. Um, please, Dundor Dead, uh, please take the time to either message me via YouTube. Or you could leave your email address on the YouTube page if you, if you feel if you feel safe doing so and uh, if not you can shoot me an email at cupcakes rings and glittery things at gmail.com congratulations and I hope to get this out to you soon bye again guys thanks again for entering and uh, be on the lookout there will be another giveaway shortly